Delicate Balance is a film from 1973 directed by Tony Richardson with a screenplay by Edward Albee and this is actually part of the American Film Theatre series where various stage plays were turned into um, into films and I have to say I I didn't like it for several reasons. I've never seen this on stage, I've never read the play, so I can't speak of it as an adaptation of that work. I can't say whether it's a good version of a stage play or anything like that. My only opinions come from this film. So I'm aware that had I seen it on the stage, had I seen other productions of it, I might have certain expectations. I might be able to say, yeah, this has done this better or worse. I can't. But if you have any opinions of that kind, I'd love to know what you think of it, but for me, judging it purely as, as a film or as a filmed adaptation, I didn't like it. It definitely focuses more on characters than it does narrative, which is often fine. I, I quite like character-driven stories if the characters are interesting, but that's not the case here. We have Agnes uh, and Tobias, who live with Agnes's sister, Claire, and then we also have Harry and Edna and their daughter, Julia. And they're all coming together in this same space and it's about how they interact with each other and how they discuss potential problems that they might have and honestly it is so boring. There is a little bit more to it than, than what I'm explaining but honestly it's dry, it's bland. I feel like it tried to be interesting and tried to be quite intense at times but it just didn't work. It was so boring and because it's character driven the characters needed to be interesting, and they're not. They're so dull. I didn't care about any of them. Obviously, I enjoyed some performances. Catherine Hepburn, I, I love her, so I liked watching her perform, and she was in front of the camera a decent amount of time. But even that being said, it wasn't enough to keep me engaged. I found that my attention wandered a few times where I actually had to, you know, just rewind a couple of steps and rewatch bits because I just found it wasn't something that was keeping me engaged at all. It's also really, really badly filmed. It is terribly filmed. There are so many close ups and extreme close ups, and I wonder if the point of that was to show a level of intimacy, to give the viewer this intimacy. And if that was their point, that's not a bad idea, but it's really badly done. And I never got a strong understanding of the space. And again, maybe they were saying, well, you don't need to understand the space because it's about the characters. But I don't need to be practically seeing up their nostrils to get an understanding of the characters. So the narrative's boring. The characters are just not interesting. They're not badly written characters as such. In the right situation, they could have been interesting. But unfortunately, this is not it. And it's also really badly filmed. So... I don't recommend it and I won't be watching it again. It hasn't necessarily put me off seeing it on stage. If somebody said, here are some free tickets to this stage show, there's somebody in it you like, I'd go and see it. But just based on the narrative, I, I wouldn't expect much. I think in the right hands and with the right directing and maybe editing of some of the more boring bits where, I mean, the whole thing's pretty boring, but there are some bits that are maybe slightly better paced than others, it could be okay. But personally, I wouldn't be very hopeful about it. I wouldn't recommend it. It's very long as well, um, which, you know, if it's a good film, it's not a problem. But unfortunately, it's not. And it's not well filmed. I can't really comment too much about the staging because you don't get a proper sense of it. So unfortunately, I feel like it was just really disappointing and, and absolutely not something... I'd recommend.